This project is sponsored by PCBA. From 1st September 2025 to 31st January 2026, PCBA organized the 8th project design contest. All inter interested participants can compete in three categories electronic project, mechanical project, or AIOT project. The best project will receive valuable prizes in cash, value coupons, and development boards. Don't miss this unique opportunity and submit your project as soon as possible. PCBWay has all the services you need to create your project at the best price. Hello! These days I accidentally came across this small retro black and white TV with built-in radio. So I immediately decided to make some simple useful device with it. Of course first I need to check its current condition and functionality. Let's examine first the radio receiver. As far as I can see, this part of the device is functioning normally and the only thing that needs to be cleaned is the volume potentiometer, possibly with some contactor spray. Now let's move on to the TV receiver. In a few seconds the white raster appears on the screen which is a sign that this part of the device is probably completely functional. I still have to check the tuner part by bringing an analog signal to the antenna input. For this purpose I will use the signal from the cable television. This signal is in the VHF free band. So now I will start searching for channels. As I assumed, also the TV receiver is completely functional, but unfortunately nowadays it has no significant use value except as part of some retro TV collection. I got the idea to bring back to life this small cute device in a way that I would make some kind of clock that would display the time and date on the screen. And of course the most suitable for that purpose is the Arduino microcontroller together with the TV out library with help of, of which a composite signal is generated through only two resistors. The model of this device is InnoHit TV128 but after a long search I was unable to find any service manual or circuit diagram. Many years ago I work in a TV repair shop and I have relatively extensive knowledge in this area. By definition the composite input should be located somewhere between the video amplifier and the sync section. After a detailed study of the PCB and its components I discovered that the video amplifier in this case is This integrated circuit TA 
7678 and the sync section is this Mi PC 1379C integrated circuit this is sync section and this is video amplifier section uh, after several hours of experimentation, I found that the composite input is located right after the video output from TA7678. This is video output on the pin 12. Next go to the pin 15 of synchronization integrated circuit. So this is the composite input. That, uh, that video signal passes through this small jumper J112. So I need to remove this jumper so that the previous tuner section uh, does not affect the signal and connect the composite input directly to the input of the sync section exactly here here is what the modified parts part looks like I also placed a switch here so we can choose between composite and tuner input. This is the composite signal generator consisting of an Arduino Nano and two resistors. And there is also the DS3231 real-time clock module with a built-in battery from which the exact time is read and displayed on the TV screen. And also this is schematic diagram. First for testing I will send a demo signal, actually an example from the TV out library. And one important note if you install the TV out library by default via manage libraries or by copying it to the library for the folder, you will get the error fontall.h not such file or directory when try to compiling. To avoid this, we need to install the two libraries TV out and TV out fonts separately, which are given at the end of the text. Now let's start testing. First we bring the composite signal generated by the Arduino into the appropriate input which is connected in the manner explained previously. The switch should be in the composite position. The content is clearly displayed on the screen. Understandably, now the band switch has no function because the tuner section has been omitted. Now you can adjust the brightness and contrast of the image and, it, and if necessary, horizontal or, venti or vertical synchronization. And as I mentioned earlier, I created a relatively simple code that will display time, day of week and date in digital form. Initially my idea was an analog clock but due to the extremely low resolution that can be generated by the Arduino, the image was desperately bad. 
The code is mainly based on the TIAUT library, so my goal was to introduce several different possibilities, such as drawing logos, react angles, lines, text borders, as well as black text on a white background. These are examples of plain and framed text. Then comes my animated logo. And finally a clock with a day of week and date uh, where the title is in the form of negative. And finally a short conclusion. This project successfully transforms a vintage TV into a functional and stylish retro clock. It's a perfect fusion of classic hardware and modern microcontroller simplicity. Also modifying the small TV without any documentation or schematics was a big challenge for me.